Hey guys, it's Chris from Headway Rocket, and today I'll be showing you how we created our Duke Admissions example layout for our features block. If you haven't seen the example yet, you can head over to headwayrocket.com forward slash demo, and then just select the features block and example four, and that'll take you to this layout. In this video, I'll be showing you how we created this first um, section of the page. It's the page is made up of four individual instances of the features block. So this is one instance, this is another one, this is another one, and that's the last one. So I've created a fresh WordPress install with the latest version of Headway and the features block already installed. And as you can see, I don't have anything on my um, home page. So we're going to click the Headway Grid link, and that'll take us into Headway's visual editor. And the first thing you'll see is the grid wizard, which pops up. But for this example, we're going to just use a empty grid. So we'll just click on that, and then we'll drag a new instance, a new block instance, and then select the features block. So we'll just save that, and then head over to the Manage tab. The reason why we're going to the Manage tab is just so that we can see our changes happening live. And as you can see, we've got the preview in the center. Um, this is what you'll see when you first install the block. It's just the sample content that is loaded by default. So to configure the block, all you do is you ho hover over the block instance that you're wanting to configure, and then just click on the top right icon. And that'll bring up the options panel for this block instance. So I'm just going to drag this up. And so the first thing you'll see is the features content. Um, we're not going to go into that quite yet. We're going to first just configure the block layout so that it's like the example. Um, you'll notice there was three, three individual features in the example, um, whereas we have six by default. So we're just going to change the number from 6 to 3 and you'll see once we make that change a message pops up asking us to save and reload the options. We're not going to do that yet, we're going to first just configure the rest of the layout and then we'll save and reload. For this example uh, we want to be able to add a custom class to each of the feature items so that we can target these individual numbers and give them a different background color. So. We're going to just enable the custom classes option. You'll see um, where that um, where you edit that later. And then we're also going to just disable the feature image as this example doesn't use any images. So once you've done that, you can just click save. And then you'll notice it says at the top right, saving complete. Once that's shown, you can click on the reload button and that'll reload the page. Okay, so we've done our basic configuration. Um, the next step is to add the features content. So you'll see that's the first tab that comes up and you've got your block title over here and then your block description. And then here are the individual feature items. So you see here feature one title corresponds to the first feature over here and feature two, feature three. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to quickly just add the content and then I'll pause the video while I do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you what, what I've done. Okay, so I've added the features content. As you can see, it's been updated um, with the block title. You'll notice the block description is still there. Um, this example doesn't use the description, so we'll just click the block description and then remove that and you'll see it updates uh, live. Then for the individual fe features, you'll see I've added a feature title. Um, you'll notice that I've wrapped the individual numbers in a span. Um, the reason for that is just so that we have a hook that we can style later to get the round um, colored numbers. You can, the feature title uh, we've actually added a second hook in the design mode. 
where if any word or number or any part of the feature, feature title that's wrapped in a span, you'll be able to style um, using Headway's visual inspector tool. So don't worry about that too much. Um, it'll make more sense when we get to the design mode. And then you can see I've added the individual feature descriptions. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this step. We're going to just save the changes and then we're going to head over to the design mode where we'll style, start styling um, the block to look like the demo. So you'll notice in the design mode when you hover over any of the individual elements, there's a turquoise border um, surrounding it. And the idea is that you click on any of these elements and then a bunch of uh, styling options are available. So to get started, we're going to just click anywhere on the um, background and you can see it actually shows you the um, path. So blocks, features, container one. So we're going to just click on that. And the container is really just the div surrounding the contents of the block. So we're going to just change the um, alignment to be centered. And then oh yeah, and then the font family we're going to just set to Arial. And you'll see because it's we're setting it on the container, it's applied to everything within that. So the next step is we're going to hover over the individual numbers and you can see that they highlighted and that's again because we wrapped them in a span and you can see over here um, feature title alt is automatically selected when I clicked on the number. So we're going to first, uh, actually not the font family, we're going to change the font size to 32 pixels. change the color to white and we are going to change the line height to 210 percent and then we also want to change the rounder corners so that we get the circle effect and then we're going to change that to 50 pixels on either side so once we've done that um, that's pretty much as much as we can do using the design mode. Um, Headway doesn't have options for every single CSS um, property. So we're going to need to add some custom CSS to pull this all together. So to do that, we're just going to click on the live CSS and then we'll just move that out of the way so you can see. And then I'm going to just quickly pause the video while I go grab the code and then I'll resume. Okay, I've copied the snippet of CSS um, to my clipboard. I'm going to just paste that here. And as you can see, as soon as we paste that in, everything just gets pulled together. Um, so I'll just quickly explain what we're doing here. We're targeting the feature title span. So that's these individual numbers. And we're just setting them to display block, setting the width and the height to 64 pixels. And then we're setting the margin top to zero and then left and uh, left and right to automatic to center it and then 10 pixels at the bottom just to add a bit of spacing. Then you'll notice the um, we've got the classes that we set on the individual feature um, list items which we added via the manage mode. And all we're doing here is just using those classes to be able to set a different background color on each of the, um, the spans within the feature, feature titles. So as you can see, that pretty much um, wraps up the layout for us. And we'll continue um, on the next section of the page in another video. So be sure to keep an eye open for the next one. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed it.